Hello again everybody. It's time for another journey. Today we're going to be doing a little journey in the middle of downtown Chattanooga on the North Shore. The area is called Coolidge Park and I believe the newer section is called the Heritage Park. We'll check it out here in a little bit but uh, anyway it's full of interesting things like the theater centers here, the river goes right beside it. You go underneath a lot of bridges, there's a lot of shopping and a lot of dining. So come on guys, let's go take a look. Let's have another journey and have some fun today. Well, as you can see, the Chattanooga Theater Center's right here. There's also the uh, Younger Children's Theater right here too. So they do stuff a bunch of times every year. It's a fun time to be had. Right next to it is the beginning of the parking. There is a lot of parking down here. And uh, up against those other buildings are shopping and some more restaurants and some more things. One of the more interesting things is that this bridge that you see is actually just a pedestrian bridge. It originally was a driving bridge, but over time it got to be where it was going to be too expensive to try to fix it, to have it stable for cars. They were going to destroy it and drop it in the river, but a huge outcry in town happened and they were able to restore it enough so that a walking bridge was created. Another interesting thing about it is uh, they have a thing once a year, I believe it's in September, called Wine Over Water. It helps support a couple of groups that try to keep buildings, historical buildings specifically, from being torn down and so that people can renovate. You can also see that there's plenty of room down here for just messing around, having fun, playing soccer, knocking a ball around. A fun time can be had by all. What in tarnation? Well, one interesting thing that's happening and has been happening for the past several days is a event called the Head of the Hooch. If you guys want more information on it, you can Google it, but basically it's one of the biggest rowing and regatta events around. I think there are bigger ones, but not a whole bunch. And it all culminates in coming up right against the river area downtown. And for you that have been watching my videos in the past, here's another interesting little tidbit. You saw the Bluffview Art District video. Well, here is the backside, or the riverside, of the Hunter Museum of Art. So you can actually see that, yes, it is perched right on the edge of the cliff. It's a heck of a view, and... If you ever get a chance to go to the Hunter Museum of Art in that area up there, it is worth the price of admission. Now, Chattanooga has become a very big sports and outdoor place. So, one of the things that they decided to do off of Coolidge Park was to create these interesting little ramps and assists for people to take their boats down to the water and launch. However, as you can see, they've done the annual letdown so the water is not quite as close as it could be. Normally the water comes up right to where all those rocks are but it makes it easier for people to take their kayaks and canoes down and put them in. This is an interesting double usage. Uh, you've got, not only is it the support for the walking bridge above, but they have attached climbing points. It's been sponsored by Outdoor Chattanooga and Chevrolet. So you can have a lot of fun climbing, although today it is closed.
what we have here is several trees planted. They call it the Peace Grove. They represent different cities from around the world, our sister cities. be able to see all of the tree because the elm appears to be doing quite well and yes here there is a carousel Alright, well this is some good news. The Dragon Dreams Museum that used to be out off the interstate has not died. Someone has purchased it and has brought it over to Coolidge Park. It's not fully open yet. There is a small gift store. We will come back another day and we will take a look at it in detail. Suffice it to say that this is an amazing little collection. Well, not little. An amazing large collection of dragons. Now, for you folks that are into New York deli type stuff, this place has been in business for a long time and is some pretty amazing food. Specials every day. It's just an amazing place and it is down here in Coolidge Park too. So it is worth coming to check out if you're into that kind of stuff. The nice thing is a lot of these older buildings have been renovated and while there are new things, they've tried to keep a lot of the old charm of the old area, so. Case in point, this building that is now a sushi bar called Sushi Nabi was a furniture store back in the day. Well, that was part one, it was Coolidge Park. This bridge, which is the Market Street Bridge, pretty much splits the parks in half. So now we're gonna move on to the other park. Now, for you folks that have been here in the past, you may notice that there is something missing right here. That's because there was a very large riverboat that was here. And uh, they just couldn't make it here. It has been sent elsewhere. I believe it's gone down the Mississippi. So keep an eye out for it. And uh, we wish her well on her journeys. Warning, there's catfishing going on here. There's the Tennessee Aquarium. And a dog.
trail of tears. Chattanooga is big into its public art. So sometimes you get to see some interesting things. Now we're not going to do all of the park today, but you can see that this continues on down. This section is devoted to more wetland creature kind of things. This is. And one of the bridges in the pyramid of dirt. A lot of people try to grab cardboard and slide down that. A fun time is had by all, and I bet it's even more fun on the rare occasions where we get snow. Now, this is an interesting little visual. You've got all these berms that I guess are supposed to slow down the water flow and make it more bogish like this area is supposed to be and then you have an interesting set of condos across the way you can see that the water is moving faster here and then there's a great big drainage point coming out from that section of town I was wrong, it's Renaissance Park. And this is about trying to filter out things and add a beautiful area. Uh-oh, you young whippersnappers. Now one little interesting feature that's right beside where the uh, carousel is, this really only runs during the summer, each one of these figures spouts water up in the air and then it drains towards the middle. Yes, you can sit on them and ride them. You've got horses and elephants and lions and turtles. But no tigers and bears. Oh my. I guess that ice was pretty hairy to have to get shaved. Well, thank you for watching this time. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, go on some journeys of your own. We'll see you next time.